Hey YouTube, welcome back to Stocks in 5. In today's video, we'll be covering two AI related stocks for long term growth. But first, here's a short clip of multi billionaire Mark Cuban voicing his opinions on the importance of artificial intelligence for the future of stocks. Thesis right now is I'm only investing in companies that are great at artificial intelligence. Period in a story. So if you look at the biggest market cap companies, start at the top, you know, Apple, Amazon, um, Google, um, Netflix is further down, but any of them, right, that are up there, the one thing they all have in common is they are great at artificial intelligence. And that's important because AI is hard. Yeah. It's expensive and it's hard and it takes years to get right. Like Mark said, AI is hard and complicated to implement, but it's worth the hassle because it allows companies to optimize and scale their businesses to whole new levels. This is made possible by leveraging computers to mimic the problem solving and decision making skills of the human mind. With that being said, the first stock on the list is AMD. AMD is a semiconductor company that develops computer processors and graphics cards. AMD can be seen like the AI equivalent of the shovel sellers during a gold rush, since they provide the material required in order to build and train AI solutions. Not only do they sell computer parts for desktops and laptops, but they also make higher performance computing technologies for their enterprise segments. In fact, as of Q1 2021, leading cloud AI providers such as Microsoft Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud have all announced AMD-powered platforms. They are also catching up to their AI competitor, NVIDIA, with the release of the world's fastest GPU for high workloads in 2020. This is all great news for AMD, as they will get to further expand their AI enterprise segment, which already grew revenues by 280% over the past year. In addition, AMD's top line revenue is expected to grow by 50% in 2021. With the stock currently trading down over 20% from its all-time highs, majorly due to market-wide corrections and semiconductor shortages, its PE ratio is the lowest it's been in over 5 years. AMD also recently announced a $4 billion share buyback plan, which demonstrates the confidence that the AMD team has for the future of their stock. Taking all of this into account, AMD is a stock long-term investors should definitely consider at these prices. Before revealing the next stock, be sure to subscribe to the channel to help reach that 100 subscriber goal. The second stock on today's list is Facebook. Facebook is a social media giant that owns major platforms such as Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger. Their use of AI technologies ranges from chatbots and recommendations to detecting inappropriate content and suicide prevention. Facebook makes the vast majority of their revenue by running advertisements on their platform. The key thing about their ads is that they use machine learning to personalize them for billions of users worldwide. In general, Facebook's strategy is to optimize a user's experience in order to keep them in their ecosystem longer. And this is clearly working as they were able to increase their year-over-year -year revenue by 48% and earnings per share by 93% both of which were fueled by a 30% increase in ad prices in Q1 of 2021. Growth numbers like these are outstanding considering the size of a company like Facebook. Their balance sheet is also clean as they have basically no debt and large amounts of cash on hand. Currently, Facebook plans on monetizing WhatsApp and further expanding into areas such as virtual reality and e-commerce. This will give them new opportunities to implement their AI solutions in different fields and will put them at major advantages over their competitors. If we look at Facebook's valuation, we can see that of all FANG stocks, they have the lowest forward PE ratio, even though they are performing just as good if not better than their counterparts. The discounted valuation is majorly due to the lawsuits and regulations that Facebook often faces, but their track record proves that they can adapt to new situations. If Facebook can withstand its future hurdles, then there's lots of room for growth ahead to be expected. Even with Facebook's current share price near all-time highs, the stock is still attractive for long-term investors and should definitely be given a look at if the stock were to reach sub-300 levels again. So that wraps this video up. Be sure to add AMD and Facebook onto your stock watch lists and like and subscribe to the channel for future stock picks. Thank you for watching.